Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and this video is part of my online course series. And I'm gonna be taking you through every single step along the way on how to build a successful and professional looking Wix course, and also how to market it through sales funnels. Today, we're going to be talking about how to utilize video in your online courses. So, how to upload a video directly to your course step, how to embed a video from YouTube or another like Vimeo or something. And then also I want to share with you some very special information on what you need to know about keeping your videos from getting downloaded. Um, very, very important. So downloaded and also like shared because you don't want to offer someone a link directly to your video and then it just gets shared for free hundreds of times. You want the, you want the acknowledgement and you want people to pay for your course. You want them to view your, their content just in the course and not anywhere else. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so here we are in our online programs panel in the dashboard. And again, if you're confused by all of this, check out previous videos. I'll take you through every step to get to this point. I'm gonna click on the course I wanna add the step to with the video. I'm gonna add a step, I'm gonna name it video. And here, there's three places that we can add a video using a button. So we've got add media files here, add video. We can click the add button and scroll over to video. We can also go down here and click video. There's no right way of doing this. It's just whatever works best for your process. So here we have, you can embed a URL from YouTube, video, Vimeo, or Facebook. And essentially what this does is you're going to go to, let's just say YouTube. I'll just give you the step by step here and I'm going to embed one of my videos so go to the page that you want find the video that you like and go down here to share copy this link and then pop back over to programs paste the link here embed video Voila! So there you have a beautiful video embedded right into your course. Now, something to keep in mind here, um, also, just a side note, you can do that with any video anywhere. So like if you have a video on Facebook, you just create a share link and then you embed it here. It's on Vimeo or another place where you host your videos. You can just pop those in right here into that link where I just did that, where I posted this one. Now, here's the thing. If you want to have a course where you exclusively share your content just with the people who have purchased the course, you're going to run into some issues if you embed links. So you can set your videos to unlisted. Basically what that does in YouTube, unlisted in YouTube, what that does is people can't see it on your YouTube channel, but as long as they have the link, they can view it. So, okay, that works okay here, but do you see the problem where if someone just shared that link on their Facebook or with someone else, they could just have direct access to your video or they could use your content elsewhere. Yeah, see, that's kind of just a problem. So I'm gonna pop over to Vimeo. This is a solution that I've found. I created a Vimeo account. I really don't use Vimeo to be honest, but I knew that they had this feature. So I'm in Vimeo. I go over here to my account smiley face and I scroll down to settings. It's going to take me here to the settings page. I'm going to scroll down to, is it viewing preferences? I'm sorry. I should have, I had it pulled up before and then I forgot how I got there. So we're going to go down to videos. Scroll down. And here we have some privacy settings. Who can watch your videos? Private, public, hide from Vimeo. Also, so that doesn't really help us, but scroll down here to where can your videos be embedded? And Vimeo is the only uh, software that I know of that does this. If you know of another one, please let me know. But here you can choose your videos can't be embedded anywhere. But if you upgrade, you can select only sites I choose. So then basically what you would do is you would put in your site um, URL here and say, hey, as long as you, these people are on the Wix Collective, they can view this particular video. Super, super cool. Um, you do have to upgrade. 
So that is the only negative thing. What I what I love about this option is you get to have your videos hosted on Vimeo. You get to change your thumbnail on your video, and then I get to you get to embed it just directly across onto your site. What I don't love, again, obviously, is that it costs. So what I do, I'm going to delete this one. And the other option you have is add video and then select upload, upload video. And here you can just pop in one of your videos that you've recorded. I love this because it's safe, it's free. However, what I don't love, two things. One, when you click on this video and click settings, we're gonna come back here later, you can't see what this video is named. There's no way of seeing this video information in the course builder. Also, there's no way of adding a thumbnail. So sometimes, unfortunately, as you may have seen, if you've taken my Wix roadmap course, sometimes my face is frozen in funny settings, in funny, like, um, freezes. And so I'm like, oh, that's kind of a bummer. But again, you know, I just told myself, hey, I'm not doing beauty tutorials. Like, it's okay. I'm just going to use Wix because I want to keep it simple. The people have the content they need. It's going to be okay. I've talked with Wix about this. They said that they have taken it into consideration. And I really hope that they're going to be um, update, upgrading this particular video feature to include thumbnails soon. So that is what I recommend is just using Wix to keep it simple. Um, but you can do whatever you want. So here we've got one more thing that's very important. Select settings and make sure on every single one of your videos, you deselect allow download. What this does is allows the participant into your in your program to download this video. I definitely want to keep that turned off unless I specifically told people that I wanted to offer them downloads. I don't really know what situation that would be in, but just know that you have to turn that off every time. At this point, there's no master switch to turn that off. All right. I think that is all you need to know about videos. Let me know if you have any questions below. Okay, I hope that was really helpful. I know that it's pretty self-explanatory, but then again, like there's so many things that I didn't know when I first built a course that I just wanna tell you all about now so you don't have to run into those bumps in the future. Um, if you have any questions specifically, please leave a comment below. Also, if you are interested in maybe booking a consult call, you can check out my website. And as you may have heard in a previous video, I am kind of thinking about the idea of starting like a Wix support group. I would love to hear input on that. I'm thinking maybe something where we would meet like once a week or twice a month or something and just go on a live Zoom and you could ask me your questions. I could see your screen. I could actually help you hands-on right there and get your questions answered. If this is something you're interested in. I have a link down below with my wait list to join. And yeah, if you also are interested in learning more about how to build a successful looking professional, not successful looking, but a successful, and professional Wix website, I have developed a course. It's called the Wix Roadmap and it will take you through every step along the way, every single detail, just like this course here that I'm doing on YouTube for free. But this course will take you step-by-step -step creating a professional Wix website. So I'm gonna take you through all of the tips and tricks that I know that I've learned over the last 10 years or so, and hopefully just give you what you need to have the momentum to start building and marketing your online course. And so yeah, just let me know if there's anything I can do to help you and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks so much.